Hi, this is Matt from Azuno, and this video is about how to program DALI groups. For this video, we will be using the Rapix addressing software and one of our USB to DALI interfaces, also referred to as a DALI red box. As with our other videos, I'm going to use the term DALI device rather than DALI light, because while most things that you will need to program DALI groups into may be lights, this information also works for DALI relays and phase dimmers or any other DALI standard device. To get started, you will need to connect the red box to the DALI line and scan the line. For a guide on how to do that, please check out our video on scanning a DALI line. The purpose of a DALI group is to allow a single DALI command to control multiple DALI devices at the same time. We could command a DALI group to turn on or off, dim up and down, or fade to a specific level, and all the DALI devices that are members of that group will follow the command. So let me just add back in the reflected ceiling plan overlay to act as a visual reference. Now let's say we wanted a light switch to control this room using DALI. We would start by putting all of the DALI devices in the room into a single DALI group. So the line is scanned and we have sorted out all the DALI addressing. If you aren't sure how to address DALI fittings, check out our video on that. We will need to go to the groups tab up here at the top of the software window, which will take us to the groups programming window. We can see all our DALI devices still listed down the left here. Uh, our available DALI groups are listed across the top up here. Each DALI line has 16 DALI groups available to it, numbered from 0 to 15. And each DALI device can be a member of as many or as few DALI groups as required. So if we are going to use DALI group 1 for our room, and we want to start by adding the DALI device at short address 1 to the group, all we have to do is click the little grey dot here that corresponds to the fitting we want and the group we want it in. The grey dot means the device isn't in that DALI group, but once it's added to the group, the dot will change into the number of the group to show that it is now a member. So to add all six DALI devices in this room to the DALI group 1, we can just keep clicking on the dots here under group 1. And it's as simple as that. The devices are added to the groups almost instantaneously thanks to the keep in sync button up here at the top. While it is selected, all changes made here will be updated to the DALI devices immediately. Over here on the right, all the groups are listed down the side. We can enter a reference name to make things clearer. It can be easy when you're doing a lot of DALI programming to forget what each group is for, but if we give the group a name like Test Room, it makes it easier to remember later. I should note that the group name is only recorded in the Rapix software. It isn't saved onto the DALI devices. Next, if we want to test that we have programmed the group correctly, we can go down to the bottom bar here to this drop box and select the group we want to test. When you name your group like we just did, it will already have pre-selected it for you. Now these individual control buttons here will control the group we have selected rather than the selected DALI device. We can turn them on or off, flash them with the identify button, or dim them up and down with the slider. If the group contained DALI type 8 fittings, we would also be able to change the color on all the lights in the group. If we want to go back to controlling the selected DALI device, all we need to do is put the back onto selected device option in the drop down. Now, if you want to remove a DALI device from a DALI group, all we need to do is click again on the grid where we added it, and the DALI device will be removed from the DALI group, and the icon will change back into the gray dot. If we want to add a DALI device to multiple DALI groups, all that we need to do is add them to any other group, just like we did with the first one. As I said earlier, a DALI device can be a member of as many or as few of the 16 available DALI groups as needed. Lastly, if you're scanning an existing DALI line and the DALI devices are already members of DALI groups, that information will be displayed here on the Groups tab. This allows us to see how the DALI groups on this line have been configured and make changes as necessary. Okay, that concludes our tutorial on DALI groups. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any further questions, please contact us at support at Thank you.